welcome back to Monday Movie Hunting, the best way to start your week. Ta -la 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 -la. It is Monday and today I have a few things to say. Uh, it was a really exciting Monday Movie Hunt, I can tell you that. Um, in the clip you'll see that I kind of like filmed stuff that I was carrying because I was like, oh, basically that was me trying to say I'm carrying things, I'm struggling showing the films, like actually picking things up. Um, so hopefully that made sense. I should have got a basket, but then still you're holding the basket and the camera it's just it's just a bit tricky so that was what that was um also what was i going to say i haven't uploaded a video since last monday movie hunting which is crazy and that is because if you follow me on twitter you'll probably know uh, but if you don't um since i left so i stayed at my house on monday night i left my house tuesday morning to go to work and i did not return until like late friday night because of the snow if you live in the uk you'll definitely know about the snow if you don't live in the uk you might have heard about the snow uh, we've had really bad snow and a couple of nights i stay at josh's house because he lives somewhere where it's not as bad snow and it's closer for me to get to work from there um and then a couple of nights i actually have to, had to stay in a hotel because i got stuck uh, i work about like 45 minutes away from my house so it's not super close and it's in like a different town and no one could get out of this town where i worked no trains no nothing i got completely stuck um like roads were closed and everything so i had to stay over there so i just haven't been here at all so that's why there's not been any videos it was all because of the snow um but anyway this is my movie hunting i do have a pre-film video but i just uh, at the weekend I was just kind of busy catching up on stuff because obviously uh, with the whole week and everything I haven't um, edited it to upload it so I will hopefully upload that tomorrow or Wednesday um, but yeah I have lots of videos to film because of course it's been the end of the month so that was just a little update now let's get on with the actual reason you're here real Monday movie hunting so let's go to Sainsbury's and then I'll show you what I've got because it's interesting chain of events um, so let's go Sainsbury's and the first film that I picked up is of course Murder on the Orient Express. This came with a free book and as I'm sat here now I've realised I've already given the free book away. Uh, I did pick up the free book, I gave it to my mum and said oh um, I bet you'll know you know bunches of people who will want this free book. Uh, obviously it's a great book, I've read it before, I own an edition already so I didn't need the kind of like movie edition is what it was. Um, but I still picked it up just so that somebody else can have it because you can only get the free book if you buy the movie so you know that was that was that uh, I'm looking forward to this but I've heard mixed things nearly everybody I know have seen this um, a lot of people I work with have seen it my mum's actually gone and seen it and she doesn't go and see many films at the cinema and everyone's kind of said they enjoyed it but it was just okay and Murder on the Orient Express is not my favourite Agatha Christie I think I gave it about four stars like th three and a half four uh, I love Agatha Christie books, but Murder on the Orient Express is my least favourite that I've read. That doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it, it doesn't mean it's not bad. It's just that her other novels that I've read I've absolutely, completely loved. This one I was a little bit like, hmm, at the end. Um, but I felt like overall I like the setting, I like the idea of the Orient Express. Like, Murder on the Orient Express just sounds exciting. Like, I like the idea of the Murder on the Ori of Murder on the Orient Express, but I just wasn't 100% on it. I haven't seen any other adaptation of this film, of this book, sorry. Um, so this will be the first adaptation that I do see. And it's got a you know fantastic cast. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm a little bit apprehensive. How long is it? How long are you? It's 109 minutes, so it's not too long. Yeah, I, I, hope it, I hope I'll enjoy it. I hope I'll really get into it. It's been a year since I've read the book, so it's not like it's super fresh in my mind either. Uh, I do remember the end though but it's not super fresh in my mind, so I'll still you know, maybe have some surprises along the way and things. Um, so yeah, that's that one. The next one I picked up, I'm kind of like interested to know which order to show these. I'll just show this one next, is The Killing of a Sacred Deer. Now the reason why I picked this up is because I saw a little glimpse of it one time and I was like, ooh, yes, I want to watch that. It's got Colin Farrell in and Nicole Kidman, and both of which I really enjoy. Nicole Kidman I think is fantastic. I definitely want to go and try and watch all of her films at some point. Um, I don't really know much about it. It kind of seems interesting though. I'm really interested to see this. How long is this? I'm just interested now that I've picked up quite a few films on 
does it oh, 120 minutes so two hours i don't know too much about it and i kind of want to go into it that way i've heard some good reviews though uh, i've heard pretty good things about this if you've seen this one let me know your thoughts down in the comments below there's a few things films that came out today that i didn't pick up but i think you guys are gonna be like why didn't you pick that up um but yeah we'll get to those the next one i picked up now you guys remember i was picking up three films is all i see is you of course i was going to pick this up because it's got blake lively in it you're pretty much going to guarantee that i'm pretty much always going to pick anything up that she's in possibly i mean i'm not going to 100 percent that forever but at the moment I, I really love blake lively i think she's fantastic i've watched a lot of her films obviously i know her primarily from gossip girl i love her she was my favorite uh, i think she's fantastic this has gotten terrible reviews however I'm going to go into it completely with those aside. Um, last year, Collateral Beauty got the worst reviews ever and I gave it five stars. I don't necessarily think it's going to be a five star film, but I think it could be something that I would enjoy. So I'm just hoping that it will surprise me and I really want to watch it because Blake Lively is in it. Uh, if she wasn't in it and it was just somebody else that I wasn't as bothered about, I don't think I would have picked this one up. Just I, The premise interests me. I would have picked it up on the premise at some point, but because of the bad reviews, it would have kind of made me not pick it up if that makes sense but i'm looking forward to it so now of course we can go to the spreadsheet however i was at sainsbury's and i was there and i was looking at the films and i picked up a fourth film and it is bum -ba -dum, bad mums a bad mum's christmas which was actually called bad mum's christmas right what's funny about this is this is the most un Christmassy cover you'll ever see. You can't even tell it's Christmas on the back. I wasn't going to pick this up because, you know, it's Christmassy. I was like, mm, I'm not going to pick it up yet because it's Christmassy. I love um, Christian Bell because, of course, I'm so obsessed with Veronica Mars right now. It's crazy. And I want to watch everything that she's in now. Uh, I've been really kind of wanting to rewatch Bad Moms, but I haven't got around to it yet because when I last watched Bad Moms, I bought it on the day it came out and watched it around that time. I hadn't seen Veronica Mars. So now I'm interested to see more of Christian Bell after I've watched, you know, Veronica Mars. Um, this also has Susan Sarandon in, which I didn't know. And I was like, oh, Susan Sarandon's in this. And I kind of just really felt like I, I could just go ahead and watch this. And I was like, yeah, I want to watch this. I just, I picked it up. All I See Is You and Killing of a Sacred Deer were cheaper than I thought they were going to be. So I kind of had a little bit of extra, like, leeway and like, oh, well, these are cheaper. So I will pick this one up. So I did pick up on Blu-ray simply because I've got the first one on Blu-ray. I think had I not have, I would have just picked up the DVD. Um, but just so that they match. Um, I showed Josh this film that I picked up. We watched all the Money Movie Hunts together. And he was like, oh yeah, Bad Mums, yeah, it's like Bad Mums. I don't think he's noticed yet that this is a Bad Mums Christmas. I think if he knows it's Christmas, he's like, why are we watching a Christmas film? I hope it's not that Christmassy. I hope we can consider this not really a Christmas film. But I have no idea. So I actually picked up four films and was kind of sneaky. So anyone who guessed any of these will guess correctly. So there might be a higher chance of correct guesses. Um, let's go to the spreadsheet and then I'll talk about a couple of other things from this week. Okay, so the people who guessed correctly are Colin Henschel with three. Who guessed, um, I've almost forgotten now, two of the original ones and A Bad Mum's Christmas. And then George Boys 10, who actually is the only person who guessed all of the original films, which were All I See Is You, Killing of a Sacred Deer, and Murder on the Orient Express. So those are the films that I actually went to St. Trees to pick up, so that is really awesome. Um, so George Boys 10 is getting on a nice little run there. I thought it was really um, cool, actually, when I saw the comment come in, because quite a lot of people guessed quite a lot of different things this week, and I was like, ooh, interesting. Um, so well done, George Boys 10, for, for guessing the exact... Um, three even though now obviously I picked up four um, but that was really cool okay back to the other me I'm just doing the guesses and I wasn't gonna do a comment section thing but the wild wedding spoon and mum guest and I saw this in Sainsbury's and I don't even know what it is so I'm gonna look it up now now that it's been reminded to me here I'm like oh yeah let me look that up so yeah really interested to see what that is um, so again you guys if you guess it wrong sometimes it brings something to my attention that wouldn't have otherwise but yeah the wild wedding also came out today so if anyone knows anything about it let me know considering i'm here in the comments jamie jamie 07 wanted a shout out so there we go okay so well done if you guessed correctly i've just noticed my camera is dying so i'll try and get through this a little bit quicker than i might have done um call me by my name 
came out this week. Nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars, everybody loves it, everyone's raving about it. I watched the trailer for it and I'm not sure, I'm not sure about it. I'm sure you'll all tell me it's amazing. Um, the reason I'm not sure about it and I think this is, I don't know, I think yeah across any board the reason I'm not sure about it is because you've got a young boy, this isn't a like doesn't matter whether it's two men, two women, boy or a girl, like it's across the board, this what I'm going to say. You've got a young boy and an older man and they kind of, I'm sure you've, this is literally watching the trailer, that's what the film's about, form this kind of relationship. And this is also why, this is obviously completely different. Okay, I'm jumping all over the place. If it was a, like it's not about them both being men, it's nothing to do with that. Um, whether it was a young boy and an older woman or a young girl and an older man, like no no difference doesn't matter any kind of form of that kind of that younger person and the older I don't know what it is it's nothing against that like if somebody I knew was in that situation and they had a partner who was like you know quite a bit older than them, I wouldn't be like oh you know it's just that I, in a film I find it a bit I feel like it can go either way to be fair in a film sometimes it can feel a bit awkward what film did I watch I've watched a film at one point and I thought like, oh this is awkward and I really didn't enjoy it. So ever since then, it's kind of put me off any kind of that age different thing in a film. Um, I don't know. That might be bad to say. Some of you might be like, well, that's weird to say. But I don't know. So that is that is actually the reason why I have not picked up Call Me By Your Name. I feel like I need to just explain why. Because you might be like, why have you picked up Call Me By Your Name? Everybody loves it. Um, yeah, it's just that age different thing. So nothing to do with anybody's, you know what's it it's just it's just literally an age difference thing um between the two that was why i didn't watch american beauty for ages but i understand american beauty is very different because how old was the girl in american beauty they weren't really like that wasn't really like a relationship thing that was more like a weird like a weird situation and it didn't go where i thought it was going to go so american beauty was fine um but i know that's like way different american beauty i think was more like not just age different relationship American Beauty is more like kind of how young was she maybe she was over 18 or 16 or however 18 um yeah but still it's a bit more like you know whereas this obviously I understand is just I think you know just a normal general um relationship just with an age difference um yeah so that's some <laughs> random rabble about call me by your name um but if you know let me know your thoughts on it i've heard people really enjoy it and think it's fantastic but just my preference in what some films that i've seen before i just find that a little bit awkward to watch and i don't know why i don't know what it is i don't know what i watched i have to figure it out um and i'll probably remember it as soon as i stop filming and so next time next week let's go on to that let's just move on from everything that i said about call me by your name because i don't want to diss the film and i don't want to like treading on one's toes about if anybody's in a relationship with someone older than them like you know significant are they even that much significantly older in the trailer that's how i felt it was supposed to be that's what i figured it was if that is not the case just let me know like if i'm just completely taking the wrong thing from that film i just kind of wish they were more i don't know maybe maybe it's not about the age you know everyone says oh it's not about age um i don't know anyway Let's just let's move on to next week. Let me just look at my list. Um, gotta find it now. Hold on, I would. Oh, okay, next week I'm picking up three films. You can guess down in the comments below what they are, and hopefully you'll guess correctly. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about next week. Very, very excited. Top of my list. Been waiting for them all for a very long time, and I'm really, really looking forward to next week. Pretty excited about this week. I feel like I've got a nice mix as well. Um, but now I'm feeling really guilty about what I said about "Call Me by Your Name" because I feel like maybe that's not quite what it was. Um, but I just wanted to be honest. I didn't want you to think I wasn't picking it up because um, any like weird like homophobic reasons. Like definitely not the case. Um, however, I don't feel like I've watched many films with like gay protagonists or might not even be called protagonists but I've read many books with all different types of things I read a lot of Adam Silvera books and More Happy Than Not was absolutely fantastic I loved it so much and I've just recently read the last book I read was They Both Die at the End which is by Adam Silvera um, and that has two well it has one bi main, bi main character and one gay main character so yeah it's not anything to do with that before anyone tries to jump to conclusions there anyway so that is the end of this video. I feel like it got kind of awkward and weird. 
Um, those are the four movies that I picked up. Let me know your thoughts on any of the other movies that came out today. Thank you for all your thoughts last week. I can remember that Bruise and Reviews said they wanted to watch Goodbye Christopher Robin and I can tell you all, I would recommend Goodbye Christopher Robin and I can tell you that the two movies I picked up last week, I loved them both. I'll be talking about them soon in my February video. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, hope you will enjoy it. I hope you all enjoyed the Oscars as well. I don't even know who won Best Picture yet. I haven't gotten to that. I haven't Googled it yet. I didn't watch the Oscars because they're always on like a weird time. I never really watch them and yeah, but I did want to watch all the Best Pictures. So I probably will watch Call Me By Your Name at some point. I'd love to know some further thoughts. Uh, I'll stop rambling now and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!